What's up guys, I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. Today we are taking a break from the Airstream renovation and meeting up with some good friends, so stay tuned. All right, so we're probably gonna head out of here. We've had a few drinks already. I'm having a shop top tonight. What, are, what is your drink of choice? I'm having Amber Bog. Yeah, so we've just kind of been hanging out, getting to know each other a little bit. But I was wondering if you could tell the Vibe Tribe how long you've been RVing now. So we've been RVing since about June. Not very long at all. What is that? July, August, September, October. Three months? Wow, we're right at three months already. It goes by so fast and slow at the same time, isn't that? Yeah, it is, it is a weird conundrum. Yeah. Um, and how has this transition been for you guys? So it's been a lot easier for Thomas than it's been for me. I struggled in the beginning, just kind of making connections with people and getting used to being away from home. For him, it was super easy uh, transition. But now that we've kind of gotten used to everything, we're a lot more comfortable. We make connections a lot quicker and we get to know places, you know, way faster than you would if you're just on vacation, I guess. Yeah, we definitely had a lot of the same experience. You have to connect so much more quickly. Like, you, you skip over the small talk and you get right. right to the heart of things. And I love that about like this whole community. Same, and you're either immediately friends or you know right away that <laughs> you're never gonna be friends again. So there's really no room for in between because you don't have a lot of time, like you're saying, mm -hmm. to, to really get to know them. And it takes a lot of work to meet up it does. Again, like it there's does. these chances where you cross paths and that definitely does happen, but a lot of time you, you have to foster that relationship and it's a lot of long distance friendship too. So you have to find out right off the bat if it's worth keeping up. I agree. All right, y'all, so we are now headed down to the bay to see if we can catch the sunset, but I know these jokers want some more drinks too, so can't wait too long. All right, so Thomas, we did a uh, work camping collab with you guys, and that was probably like halfway through your work camping stint. Do you have any new information about that experience now that you've wrapped up the two or three months that you did that? We were actually not ready to go. We felt like three months went by so quick, so we could have definitely done longer and had no issues going longer. We kind of felt like we had built such a connection there that we felt bad leaving, so. Yeah. Um, no, I wouldn't know if we have new information yet, unfortunately. Sorry, no, other than uh, we, we loved it. And uh, we would definitely do it again. We're actually thinking about maybe going back and doing another stint with a different Florida State Park, maybe next year or something Very like that. Cool. So. Was there like a class of work campers in there or did people come and go? So when we first got there, almost all of us came in at the same mm -hmm. time. And there was a bunch of us. And essentially all of us got there about the same time and then most of them left and then we were there like another two weeks. So it kind of it switches out about every three months or so. And it was awesome. Although some of the best people we met were right there at the end that came in the last two weeks. They're like, no, we don't want to leave yet. So so I'm excited about Nomad Fest and I'm excited to hear you guys are going over there too yes. to do the volunteer aspect of that. Um, what is your, um, what's your vision that Nomad Fest is going to be like? Like what expectations do you have of Nomad Fest? Oh, I have no idea. I just want to go. It sounds yeah. terrible. I just want to go to meet everybody yeah. because, you know, basically the RV community inspired us to get out there in the first place. So we really want to go more as, as fans, really. 
I want to see you know this video that they put together. I'm looking forward to that. I think it's going to be really cool, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys play live, <laughs> even if Olivia's not. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that yeah. a lot. So that's very cool. And our favorite part about the whole Nomad um, RV Nomad movie experience, and I think Nomad Fest as well, is the community aspect. We love being around so many of our friends in one spot. So yeah. I look forward to you being able to go down there and experience that as well. Awesome. Yeah, we're looking forward to it for sure. The next stop on our walkabout is the Bone and Barrel. So you guys also have a blog. Can you tell us a little bit about the blog that you guys run? Sure, so we're terrible at it, <laughs> if I'm being honest. No, um, basically it's just more information, basically ways to connect with us. We do put information on there sometimes that we just don't put on the video either because we don't have time or maybe the conditions weren't right to film something, so we'll snap some pictures and write like an article about it. So um, yeah, it's a great way to keep up with us though. We have a whole section, it's called the RV off-grid setup, and basically when I did our RV install and all the videos, I did a whole write-up. It has everything you need to know pretty much about installing the solar system that we have from the wiring to the fuses, wiring schematics. I did all of it on there. What has been some of the most rewarding experiences about the YouTube channel that you guys run? For me personally, just the interaction with the community. I love interacting with people as our audience already knows. Just getting to know them on a personal level, making those connections, it almost feels like they've become a part of our friends and family. And the prospect of knowing that as we get to meet these people and know them, we can reach out to them for anything that we need. It's like our security net almost. To me, that has been the most rewarding part about YouTube, period. So you guys have been on the road for three months now and as we've been talking tonight and over a few drinks you said you might be considering downsizing can you kind of give us your thoughts on that and why that might be an option for you in the future sure so uh i would say basically the whole aspect of fitting into smaller spaces is really why we want to downsize with the dually it is terrible to go downtown and park anywhere just to go places is kind of like it hinders us is kind of how we feel and then same thing with the trailer we feel like we have to go somewhere set it all up get it all nice and ready and then go out and do stuff and explore and we feel like with maybe a smaller maybe like a super b or 24 foot area mm -hmm. then and we were originally looking at vans yeah well we also like staying with people so we love mooch docking we love like i said before those connections and getting to know people and that's the best way to explore an area the quickest and we found that while staying with our subscribers, we're taking up so much of their space. And we'd like to take up a little less of that space, uh, you know, less of a footprint, I guess, overall. Also, the slides, like every time I let them out and bring them back in, I'm just waiting for something to happen. We've already had ant infestations, two leaks, like all of these little things that have happened to us. And I just find myself cringing every time I hear another mechanical piece just working and so we also want yeah. something that doesn't have slides yeah we crushed a few things in slides already so. that as well um so i think just overall we're trying to make the journey a little easier simpler yes yeah. and simpler part of your process of leaving less of a footprint going smaller more minimal will you be um doing solar or a composting toilet or anything to kind of help go off grid yeah, uh, definitely solar for sure. I feel like no matter what size your RV is, you should have solar. Even if you have like one, 200 watts, even if you're just parking it and not using it for six months, it's gonna keep your batteries topped off. It's gonna help just manage your system better. So solar, definitely 100%. A lot of the, we're looking at like a Trend or a Vivo, like type style of class, like Super B, I guess, Class C really. Yes. I think I have built-in generators. We don't have a generator now. 
Um, but yeah, definitely solar. As far as composting toilet, that's kind of like up in the air, not quite sure. Yes, so, you know, we have our black tank issues and you know, you do smell it occasionally and stuff like that. The great thing that we're thinking about the composting toilet is we could possibly take that extra tank and use it for more gray mm -hmm. uh, space, I guess. Mm -hmm. And not having to worry about dumping so often, because if we go smaller, the tank space is less, so right. we aren't gonna make it as long, and we feel like it will be more convenient. But we're still trying to do our research on that. So. Exactly, yeah. It's definitely not for the faint of heart, but it has totally helped us out in being able to um, not have to dump so often and be able to be off-grid as long as we want. So we have had so much fun getting to know you guys better. I felt like we already knew you a little bit going into this. Same. We've like yeah. interacted online and on YouTube a lot, but tonight I feel like we had a lot of great conversations. So it's been super enjoyable. Hopefully we get to see you again before you leave town, but I'm just so happy that we could get to know you guys and share your story with the Vibe Tribe more. Yes, awesome. Thank you so much for having us and showing us around the town. It's been awesome. Yeah, it has. It's beautiful here and thank you for, you know, having us on your channel and everything. It's been an awesome experience. Oh, no. We are like happy to have you here and happy to show you around. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as we did. And remember to subscribe to their channel as well. I'm not lost. I'm RVing because they have a lot of great content as well.